both look silly. You're right, guys. It's yeah, we both look silly. <laughs> I think I think it probably did cut Just in, that. cut in the very first bit, saying we both look silly, and we do. Look at us, the tree flashing a little bit behind us, twinking it, as if it's it no different. Like it. In fact, it looks like it's flashing on the screen, but it's not actually flashing in real life. Uh, this is us in our Santa hats, wishing everyone a merry Christmas, and we thought we'd do a real quick episode of Muscle Owl Talks. What what do you think? Um, yeah, happy Christmas, everybody. <laughs> First, I hope you're doing well and celebrating. That's that's we we hope you're doing well and celebrating. Yeah. Uh, we we th- we thought we we well we we did an episode yesterday talking about something very serious, yeah. assistive technology, something really interesting, and we thought that today we'd do something a little more fun, um, a little bit different. <laughs> um, Go on. Yeah, I mean, just as interesting as anything else, really. Um, but uh, yeah, a Christmas special. A Christmas uh, special. Extravaganza. Extrava- can be an extravaganza if we want. We were, talk- yeah. we were going to talk a little bit about films and Christmas films and what our favourite Christmas films are. And the disability spin on it was, we were going to say, what if the lead character actually had a disability? Because this is... Possibly, well, it's, it's it's a serious thing, really. You know, in Hollywood, people with disabilities often don't get roles or, you know, good roles, roles at all. And, well, you, you aspiring actor, you you know that as good as anyone. Yeah, so which, it isn't right, you know, people should get roles. <laughs> It's not right. People um, should get roles, but but we thought we put we we whatever thought the situation <laughs> whatever the situation. Yeah, you you were saying about what we were saying about um, putting Home Alone a twist on like Home Alone. There could be a twist uh, on Home Alone. The guy in it, McCall McCa- 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 Yeah, can't really say his name. <laughs> but, what, um, what if he'd been in a wheelchair? Yeah, exactly. It could have made it the film a lot more interesting. You never know. It, he'd have yeah. he'd, he'd have been having to get round. It'd have been a struggle to get his food. That would have been... And to be alone. And to be alone. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah, so surely, surely you'd have a team of carers with him. You'd have a team of carers. Okay, so the carers would be alone. Maybe they, they could pay them over Christmas. The, the carers could plot against the guys coming in as well. That would have been that would have been far more interesting. They could have done a bit of teamwork there. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Then it wouldn't have been home alone. It would have been home alone... With your carers, something like that, yeah. One of our favourite films yeah. that we always used to like back in the day. Was, I kind of roll my eyes a bit at it now. Ooh, uh, <laughs> ooh, Eddie was Elf. Elf. We really course. did like Elf, and actually, I've had to think about this, and I can't think how Elf would be merged into having a disability, someone with a disability play the lead, play the lead role, or how it would be any. I'm not sure, how, well, it could, but how I can't think of how it'd be any different. What do you yeah. think? I'm just too sure, but I was just going to say, uh, anybody out there, what would, what do you think about yeah. Elf? Do, do you like it? Firstly, <laughs> yeah. um, this is a very serious muscle owl episode. Do you like Elf? <laughs> firstly, that's, that's the first say. question. Yeah, uh, um, and, and, and second question is how, how would it be? You know, how would somebody who'd be disabled in it? Yeah, how would they be in it? How would they would be in it? it? Essentially, like. this this may seem very light-hearted, but on a more serious level, how can we adapt our popular narratives that we have in society, in Hollywood, on our cinema, in, in our rooms? How can we adapt those narratives so that uh, we can fit disability in, so we can normalise disability and see it as just a very normal thing? In fact, what we were going to do is we said we'd give Michaela Hollywood a call because we were talking to her about this earlier, and if I can find her here we go Michaela yeah, uh, hope this goes to plan hope this goes to plan and we don't get her answer will, machine I'm sure. if she comes in we're gonna do this here we go this it's it's coming in it's coming in there we go we got Michaela hang on let's somewhere. let's see if she answers her phone dramatic moment here dramatic moment still ringing but not too dramatic hello Michaela uh, yeah Michaela you're on air are you okay to talk yeah. Uh so we we were just going to we we were just talking about our favorite uh our favorite Christmas films on this Christmas extravaganza special oh, yes. and we were thinking well you 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 said earlier you have a Christmas film that, or a Christmas book that I hadn't even heard of and you said 
that it's actually got a narrative of uh, a, a disabled main character. Yeah, this is uh, anyone who anyone who's known me for a long time on the road is always obsessed with McFly when I was little. I'm not alone, and I am Roy. And um, one of the singers, Tom Fletcher, has written a book called The Christmas Saurus. The Christmas Saurus. It's Christmas Saurus, which is basically around a dinosaur, but it, um, one of the main characters in it is William Trundle, who is in a wheelchair, but the wheelchair isn't mentioned. William Trundle, main character, he's in a wheelchair, but a wheelchair isn't mentioned. No, not until page 61. Not until page 61. So, is it just a really boring story up until that point, where it just talks about the colour of the sky? Or is it normalising disability? I haven't read it properly. I haven't even read it. Read the book! It can't be your favourite of Christmas book if you've not read it, Michaela. Come on! What are you talking about? Sort your life out. I should read it. I should read it. I Michaela, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to buy you that book and you need to read it and review it for us as soon as possible. <laughs> uh, Michaela, on on a more general, on a more general and disability free note, uh, favorite Christmas film? Elf. Yeah. Between the between the few. All the problems. I'm probably gonna say Nightmare Before Christmas. The Nightmare Before Christmas with Tim Burton. That's 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 an interesting call. Interesting call. We were just saying that Elf was always one of our favourite films, and there's a part in Elf. G- oh really? <laughs> there's a part in Elf. There's a part in Elf when me and Andy were kids, and we used to watch it. And there's a part where uh, he's downstairs in the basement in the postal bit uh, with all the postal workers, and he starts doing this Russian dance, and the dance goes. Three, two, one, go. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. And we just kept going on like that. Ooh, yeah. And me and Andy just. Seemed to, <laughs> you get a picture, Michaela. Do you get a picture? Yeah, I think it was so much older when I watched it the first time. Oh, you can't be so much older. Watch it again. Give us another review on Elf. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, se- second viewing yeah. might change your opinion. Uh, w- one of my sneaky favourites w- is always Santa Claus. Santa Claus the movie, which I think in years to come yeah. w- could well actually be one of one of the all time greats. I think with Tim Allen. Uh, yeah, that and Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. Mir- oh, yeah. Miracle! Oh, yeah. Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street with that young girl. She was amazing. That young girl. <laughs> Yeah, yeah Mara was yeah, what, what what a girl. Uh, so yeah, and thinking about and in fact maybe those are the are the sort of narratives that we should be pushing to get more disability stories in society because you could have just had I I can't think of any sort of tough bits to get a wheelchair narrative into any of those films other than when 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 Santa Claus falls off the roof and he's got to get in the sleigh. He's probably thinking, right, hang on, he'd, he'd probably carry him up and get the wheelchair up on top. Yeah, something like that. But apart from that, it's fine. Yeah. The North Pole will be adapted. It's Santa's workshop. That that guy, he, he makes toys, yeah. he makes everything. Oh, you could wave a wand, but let's not let's not get all over the top here. Let's let's take this seriously, Michaela. We can't just wave a wand in real world. No. We gotta have adaptations. Do <laughs> you know this as well as everyone, Michaela? Be Don't good. be telling us to wave our wands. It would be good. <laughs> if it could work, but not quite. <laughs> Who says that? Who? Michaela, I can't hear you. I think you've made that up. I think no one ever said that, but it's a very good line. There will be no wand waving on Muscle Owl talks. Oh, uh, yeah, of course, Harry Potter, of course, Harry Potter. Uh, th- th- really quick, before you go, Michaela, I was going to ask if uh, you could give us your brief thoughts on a really interesting piece of news. Let's 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 be serious for a minute here. We're wearing Christmas hats. We've got tinsel on the back of our chairs, but we're going to be serious for a minute here. We can be serious. Hang on. Three, two, one. Serious. 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 We're being serious. Uh, Michaela, there was a really amazing drug uh, that was 
uh, well approved by the FDA yesterday for SMA muscular dystrophy, spinal muscular atrophy. What do you think of it? So you've been very vocal on it over the past few months, and uh, yeah, what are your thoughts? This is amazing times. Yeah, I think it's um, I think it's incredible. I think it's, it marks the, the beginning of a new era for people with SMA. Um, as of right now, no longer can the doctor say there's no treatment for your child. Mm. And that uh, I know would have been music to my mom and dad's ears. So, um, yeah, we know, I mean, we don't really know what the full benefits are going to be for those of us who are slightly older, but mm. for young people coming along in, in the United States for now and hopefully very soon in Europe and the rest of the world, yeah. they're going to have um, an option to take a treatment that's going to um, yeah. potentially completely prevent the symptoms. So, um, no, it's... yes, it's a good day and it's a really nice trip to yeah. Lots of families saying, lo- lots of families saying, all I want for Christmas is a cure. They've got a blooming treatment without even thinking it'd happen. So that's that's really good. Of course, it is spinal fusion, so it's not quite as simple as. Uh, well, it's, like, uh, it's not an easy treatment to get. You do have to get um, a needle, like a spinal tap yeah. um, into your spine. If your spine's fused, you have to get a home drill and. There's a number of different things that, you know, there were some things that were being negotiated by medical students, but, um, you know, we're, we're on the right foot, the technology that's there, uh, we're really being free from now on, and, you know, years, a few years down the line, we should have something that doesn't need to go into the spine, so we're, um, this is the first step on the ladder to, to figure out other things, and... It's the first step on the ladder! ladder. This might help to Shane, or it might help to do it all, it might help so many other conditions to run. Not just them, but other, other genetic conditions. So this is uh, a great for us all. Good times ahead, Michaela. Excellent times ahead. Michaela, it's been wonderful. Wonderful times all round. It has. Uh, we'll, sp- we'll speak to you real soon, Michaela. Cash soon. But- See you soon. Bye-bye, Michaela. Bye. Bye. Yeah, amazing times with Michaela. Uh, I hope I hope people could hear that. If they can't, we'll get the sound quality sorted for next time because that was a real cool chat with Michaela, talking a little bit about something silly, Christmas films, a little bit about something quite serious and quite interesting and quite wonderful. Quite positive. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's um, all good. It's all good. And in fact, we could finish this off by saying that uh, j- just just a brief final topic is to you know, obviously Andrew you have DMD Duchenne muscular dystrophy yeah, and I do, uh, I do. <laughs> I do. Uh, so the last uh, well you know people with the condition can be p- quite prone to things like chest infections or god help pneumonia over yes. Christmas periods and I'm just look I'm just looking at here Andrew's got his little thing that you put on your thumb to uh, yeah. measure your heart rate and whatnot, and uh, uh, yeah, that's uh, th- this is links back to two years ago when we did a video in front of a tree in this corner of the room, and uh, Andrew was not well at the time. Um, no. So I, had, I don't uh, know, uh, chest infection, uh, which got worse, and I had to be hospitali- hospitalised on uh, Christmas Day. Uh, at about 6 a.m., had to get, well, tried to get an ambulance down. Mm. Couldn't get in the ambulance. He couldn't so. get in the ambulance! The ambulance yeah. wasn't accessible. Exactly. So, this guy here, who you all know, um, had to drive us to yeah. drive me and my mum and the hospital guys to the hospital, uh, the ambulance guys to the hospital, and uh, yeah, there it was. So, I wasn't in a good condition this time. No, no. This time two years ago, I wasn't wasn't too good no that was crazy uh, so in fact we can just show this is one of the pictures let's see if I can one just turn this brightness up yeah in fact this was a this was brightness a collage brightness. that we had uh, let's see can you see those those are some of the things that happened two two years ago on Christmas some of the ones in hospital with us having fun Andrew got out by the end of the day and that was our drive back when Andrew got out I drove us uh, home I was I was an ambulance driver for the day, so yeah, it was quite yeah. good. You That's feeling? Rolling, yeah, <laughs> you feeling better this year? Know, How are you rolls. feeling? Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling, feeling fine, really. Uh, yeah, certainly nowhere near a chest infection. 
Yeah. But but you yeah. have been on the uh, cough assist, which you hadn't been on for a I while, have, yeah? yeah. So how's that um, been? Yeah, it's it's pretty good. Yeah, it uh, certainly helps, and that's that's all I can ask for, really. Yeah. Um, hopeful. So yeah. No so chest like, infections this year. Um, no. No pneumonias. A bit of a sore throat. <laughs> I have to clear it sometimes, but it does its job. So it's yeah. the main thing. Yeah. That's all that matters. Um, yeah, so that that's, well, we just thought we'd do a real quick Christmas episode. Obviously, lots going on over the next few days. Uh, we're having a lovely Christmas. We hope you're going to have a lovely Christmas yeah. too. Maybe get in touch if, if there's anything that you'd like to see over the next week, two weeks, coming months through 2017 we'll be doing a lot more stuff on muscle oil talks and a lot more of these kind of silly chats because i think it's important yeah. i think it's important you can you can say this in a minute andrew but i think it's important that we take things from a very serious level on things like muscle oil talks and we we have very serious debates as we do i can see some uh, some 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 comments from solomon here solomon joins us on muscle oil talks some of the most serious stuff and but we also have silly stuff as well sometimes Solomon joins us for silly stuff uh, but obviously silly stuff like this as well is really important because I think it's got a lot you know it goes, it goes some way in normalizing disability in society so yeah, I think we've got a normalized disability but we've also got to make sure disability is a priority and it's uh, treated in the right way what do you think yeah I think it's got to be um, positive and as long as they can get the treatment out there and get the, you know, the the information out there, basically, and um, that's all all positive, um, step in the right direction. Treatment and information, practical and logistical. I'm not sure and if that then, was the right way around. Yeah, but then in in that way, people know more about the condition as well. Mm. Um, so that helps in that way and that was what we were saying actually I think we were having a chat with some other guys as well who have the condition and uh, saying that you know that as many of you you guys will know that it's been going around the states people with signs outside the doors you know the, the, the big slogan all I want for Christmas is a cure for DMD or a cure for Duchenne muscular dystrophy and that's that's wonderful to you know all, all the organizations that fund for cures and you know we put out a lot of stuff on research and we keep up to date with that because it would be amazing to get cures and treatments but i think it's also important as we've said and we always say that you know people can live wonderful lives with a disability if there aren't cures and treatments so um yeah in fact i did say to andrew what is it you know there's a lot of people wishing for cures for you what is it you want for christmas our friend vivette gohill had an amazing answer to this uh, and and i i i forget his answer i might have to uh, get him to say it out later it was like some sort of it was very funny i'm i'm not going to i'm not going to misquote him but i don't know andrew what did you what did you say earlier all you want for christmas is what did i say earlier you said Pair of socks. Oh yeah, I did actually say a pair of socks. I forgot about that. Yeah, pair of socks. Pair and in fact, in fact, use them on my hands. He could use them on his hands because they get quite, quite cold. But equally, <laughs> I could use gloves. Equally, he could use gloves. So you know, who knows? No gloves on you on on your feet though, because in fact we won't show that. But he's got some amazing sort of slippers on Boots, right now. Yeah. Boot slippers, uh, orthopedic specials. Um, and in fact, if if we're gonna go all out, if we're gonna go all out, I will show my special socks. Look at those! They got a holly on. Right, no more of that silliness now. Um, yeah, I think that's all for our Christmas episode. Is, yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to lead us out? Final. Uh, yeah, uh, do you want to say about like that Christmas jumper? We got a Christmas jumper as well. <laughs> not just a hat. We thought the episode I mean, was finished, but we're not proud of our hats. We're proud we're of the hats. Equally proud of the jumpers. Equally proud of the jumpers. Yeah, this. Of this okay, 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 we'll let Andrew style his jumper I do, first. Yeah, I do wear this. A lot, don't I? Uh, only at Christmas time, I will say. He wears it a lot, <laughs> all through December, maybe yeah, a little I bit of January, but general, not. Yeah. I mean, you won't catch him in the middle no. of May with his. I do love my Christmas jumper. Uh, so yeah, is, yeah. is, is, is it old? New London, 
um, as you can see. Oh, it is! I never knew. I don't Tower know Bridge. if you could see the, that. But oh, wow, oh, that's maybe. That. This is a good Christmas joke. Maybe some people would do that. But uh, yeah, it's all good. It keeps you warm, doesn't it, as well? This one, in fact, I'll get in now. It's not, it's not you know, an over Christmas jumper, so I can wear this through January, February. Hoorah! Uh, but this was actually one of Andrew's, and yeah, well, course, I, f yeah. I think uh, yeah. I, I, I I don't know if Andrew's had a rising waistband over recent months, but some of Andrew's uh, possibly. Uh, that's a good thing. <laughs> of course, it's a good thing. He's just a growing young lad. That's yeah, all it is. Christmas will that improve? <laughs> uh, so yeah, oh yeah, will if you eat l enough mince pies. Uh, but yeah, th th this one was actually Andrew's last year and I've got a couple that, that were Andrew's last year so yeah. bit of fun bit of fun yeah, we're just going to have a quick scroll through the comments uh, Solomon I think I saw you say you had 10 chest infections last year last year alone he had 10 chest infections mm. what's going on there yeah. Dr Andrew's well, going to diagnose you no I'm not we're not. We're not. <laughs> when we're not even going to joke about that because that's 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 yeah. serious. Solomon, uh, we knew you had a lot of chest infections. We didn't realise it was ten. ten. Uh, so yeah, and Merry Christmas to to you too, uh, Solomon, uh, and Merry Christmas to you too, uh, Andrea, and Gloria, and ev everyone else who's who's yeah. who's on here. Merry Christmas, all of you. And to all of you, a good afternoon, slash morning, slash evening, depending on where in the world you are. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it all depends on where you are. Um, so yeah, I want to say happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, and have a lovely, lovely time, wherever you are. Thank you. That's brilliant, and we'll speak to you all real soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.